at the pitch. Early one today. This is so good. Shout out to Lidl or Salvita. They should sponsor us. Yeah, fancy sponsorship, Salvita. We'll promote your ginger shots. The only shot you'll see in the video. The only shot you'll see in the video as well. Yeah, gonna do a Hatersmith video. Ginger boots. Ginger boots. Ginger shot. Every knuckleball is the same, apparently. So what I'm going to do is place the footballs randomly, not have them set on a logo or a valve, anything like that. Just put the ball down and take free kicks. Let's see if every knuckleball is actually the same. This is my very first shot. Well, football shot. <laughs> <laughs> of this session. <laughs> oh my days. Oh my days. Oh, hey, oh. <laughs> Let's go home now. I've already busted the miss. Yeah. When I take my knuckleball free kicks, I place the football in a certain way depending on the ball. So for example, with the speed cell, I will always have this face in the camera. You guys may not have picked up on this, but what it is is that I've recently scored a sick knuckleball with the footballs placed like that. So it's in my head, it's psychological that I'll get another good goal with it placed in a certain way. It's really confusing me. Compsy Compsa didn't really knuckle. I'm so used to doing this, it's like programmed in me. Oh, oh, that felt so sweet. Had my shots. I don't know. Shot. Yeah, and now I'm going to make a move in a minute, but so far so good, isn't it? Doing well. Yeah, I think when you leave, I'll move over to the left because I see you able to run all that way to get the footballs. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> a good point. Every knuckleball is the same. <laughs> is it though? If every knuckleball was the same, I wouldn't be here 11 years later still taking free kicks. I just wouldn't. That's why I chose the knuckleball technique when we first started because there was something different about it, something that fascinated me. The idea of scoring a different goal every time I came out to film was the appeal. With a curve free kick, you could argue that yes, maybe every curve free kick is the same to some extent but when it comes to the knuckleball i don't think you can get a consistent regular identical knuckleball free kick yes you get similar dead balls similar placement but as a whole i don't think you're going to get the same knuckleball every time you come out and film or take a free kick 
And that's also why I find it really difficult to recreate knuckleball free kicks because it's almost impossible to get it identical. What are your thoughts? You've only got to go back to last year to see that unique movement knuckleball I got with the speed cell to see how much variation you can get with the football when doing a knuckleball free kick. So I'm sure there's still movements out there that we haven't quite accomplished yet. A lot of people will be like, oh, it's because of the Jabuloni. No, it's not, get over that. And I haven't had a free kick like that before. Maybe with the Euro pass going back a few years where it took off and spun into the top right, smashing the GoPro. A few of you guys may remember that one. 150 likes and I'll do a Jabulani Hater Smith video. Batteries on red. <laughs> they were white. <laughs> uh, gotta love soft grounds, eh? Not. Comment down below if you feel like you've seen two knuckleballs similar in this session, or two knuckleballs that were the same, because I'm struggling to think of two that are identical. And that proves that this haters myth, this theory that the knuckleball was always the same, is complete nonsense. Another myth busted today. Don't expect me to be placing the ball randomly in future videos though. <laughs> I'll probably go back to my old habits, but thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time. Knuckle it.